about that polarized light you were talking about earlier? Yeah. Well, I've been doing some reading, and I think if we use the polarizing filters, we can make some art with it. Really? How? Well, I got this piece of cellophane from the florist the other day, and I think it might get some interesting results if we look at it through the filter. Oh, cool. Let's try it. Okay. So, cut the pieces of cellophane in whatever shapes you want, and then using a little bit of clear glue, stick it to a piece of plastic about the same size as the filter. Or, you could use packing tape so that way you don't have to use the glue. We glue the shape directly on the clear plastic square because it could damage the polarizer if we glued it directly on that. Then we wouldn't be able to use it for more experiments. When your art is complete, make a sandwich. First, you use one polarizer on the bottom, and then your layer of plastic with your artwork, and then another polarizing filter on the top. And then, using a window or a light source, you can put it on there, rotate the top one, and see what happens. Wow, the colors change when you rotate the polarizer. The cellophane changes the direction of the polarized light. Each wavelength vibrates a different direction, so you see different colors as you rotate the top polarizer. Well, that makes sense. I bet if we made the cellophane shapes thicker, we'd get different results. Why don't you try it? I'm Emily. And I'm Catherine. And this was Polarized, Polarized Light Art. Art.